Hey, old campers. How are you all doing? I'm on a coach with Dazzle. I'm going to see another vehicle. Iveco, another Iveco. And it's in Sussex. So we're on the Air National Express coach from Middlesbrough to London. And then we're getting on another bus to Gatwick, I think. And then maybe another one to Gatwick to Crawley. Anyway, that's what we're doing. So we'll update later. Just, just a tip, if you're ever on a National Express from Middlesbrough to London, don't sit in this seat. It's got loads of leg room, but a dodgy door. Which Dad says was fit must have been fitted by Liam the Terrible. Because <laughs> there's a massive gap down there. <laughs> it's been bloody freezing. Anyway, over and out. So, we're in Crawley, waiting for the seller to turn up in the bus to pick us up. Oh, it's nerve wracking! That's been one epic journey. And it's, it's going on for like 12 hours really. I'm setting off last night, so now. Um, <clears throat> I'm absolutely fooked. So I brought Dazzle on because he's got the same model with Echo. Um, so he's got a bit of a clue. Better of anyway. <laughs> uh, yep, anyway. I'll report back in a bit. Here she is. You can check the MOTs. She's only had two fails in 15 years, which I think is pretty good. Some cosmetic things. So the guy's taking on the reader's But like, the poor just as well. But he's sorting it all out. He's got a lot of videos, in fact, showing the process. It's pretty good to me, as much as I know about anything. But um, it seems pretty solid. I was uh, using some of that Rust-Oleum the other day and I was struggling to find any rust under here. <laughs> Whereas if I'd gone under a little gem, I would have emptied the bottle in about three seconds flat. So yes, these, well I'll show you the, you'll see more about the windows later. Mm. Got all that space underneath, you could have a party under there. You know, whereas getting under little gem, it's like, I feel like I'm in a coffin. I've been under there, not pleasant. So, what a lovely undercarriage. Oh, look at this. Electric door. I'm not going to show you too much of the inside, because I've got videos, you see, of, um... Bit so turn you around and look at my beautiful face instead. So I think there's about 143,000 on clock. It's uh, it's measured in kilometers the DVLA and on the clock. 
In fact, the speedometer is in kilometres, so you have to look on the inner circle to see uh, miles. It's fine. It's got a limiter on. I thought, what's wrong with it when I was trying to go past 60? And it was like, it was, you just won't let me. I thought, oh, it's broken. And then I realised it's got a limiter on. <laughs> to be fair, it's probably a good thing. This one, yes, it's a, it's yellow again, uh, Iveco. It's three litre. Um, as is little gem. So, well, 2.8. Near enough, three litre, isn't it? It shifts a bit. Well, up to 60, of course. <laughs> Um, I'm fairly used to driving it already. I didn't drive it back from Sussex, though. Daz did. Uh, I was a bit nervous about that. I thought I need to get used to driving it around familiar areas first. So, What else is it to say about it? Yeah, so the, the guy who had it, a uh, big family, he got it for his big family. But then... I don't know. He, he said they have moved to a place where you can't park it outside because um, it's a little new sort of build residential area. And because we went to his house, he picked us up from the bus station and we went to his house. And it is, it, you can't park there. He wouldn't have been able to park it there. So I assume that's his real reason. He did a lot of work on this. So he has got a couple of videos on YouTube actually. He started because he started a channel, but it's not. I didn't carry on with it. Sit down a minute. And it was hella rusty, was this thing? But he's he's cut all the rust out and put in new new metal, which is slightly slightly thicker metal. I know on the outside it probably looks worse than the other Iveco. Hey, you can't be looking. <laughs> the other Iveco that I looked at. But at least it ain't got a big hole in the roof. <laughs> um, it's things to sort out. There are things to sort out. And it's a daunting prospect at times. You know, when I sit and think about everything that needs to be done, I'm like, <sighs> I need help. Um, I've got Daz helping. Um, I met a subscriber, Lenny, the other day on here. And um, he... Yeah, he was going off to a, a weekend thing in Hull or something, but um, he would have happily stayed to help. He actually gave me a lovely box of scrolls and light fittings and things, which I was really grateful for. So cheers, Lenny. Um, and it was nice to meet him. I'm hoping he'll come back and help, actually, at some point. Because <laughs> uh, I'm kind of stuck here at Southgare for the foreseeable now because um, I can't drive away in Little Gem. And um, I can't live in this, so I'm living out of Little Gem at the minute. So that's convenient, to be fair. But, uh, yes, there's a lot to do. So I, I'm going to put in other videos. I haven't sort of... What I should have done was, well, as soon as I got back with this, was to um, do a sort of a tour of it before I did anything. But it, I was just too excited. I just didn't get around to it. <laughs> so... <sighs> Um, you'll see things as I've videoed them. I'll try and do it in sequence if I can. I know there'll, there'll be people who've got reservations about this, no doubt. I've made this decision. I've Well, I say bought it. I haven't bought it yet. It might be bought in about five or six years. I don't know when I've paid off the credit card. Um, ow, sticking a mess. But the bank's got plenty of money anyway, so they're happy to give it to me. That's very generous of them, isn't it? it I don't know. It might seem reckless to some people. I, I don't know. But sometimes I am reckless. So there you go. But I needed a new van, really. I did. If you see, if you do see the other videos this guy's made, you'll think, okay, so you've decided to dump Little Gem because... It was too rusty, and then you've bought a van that had as much rust as yours. <laughs> it's been fixed, though. Um, and done that instead, which probably seems a bit strange. But, as I said in other videos, it's not just about uh, rust. It's about size and... 
feel like I can breathe in here. This, you know, and it's a big empty space at the minute, pretty much. So it does feel really spacious. And it, you know, when I've got everything in here, it, there'd be less space. But still, it's going to feel more spacious than Little Gem ever will. And that, honestly, it, the more time I spend in there, the more aggravated I'm getting after being in here. It's amazing how we can put up with things for such a long time and only when you're out of that situation, whatever it is, whether it's a job or a relationship or a van that's too small, <laughs> do you think, oh, fuck, why was I putting up with that? Why did I put up with this for so long? Ow. I do need, I need a selfie stick or something. This is awkward. So, yeah. So, I'm... um. I'm happy, although daunted, with the amount of work. <laughs> but I get there. See, I'm impatient. I want it all done yesterday. But every day, if I get something done every day, then that's that's good, isn't it? I guess I'm not going to be out enjoying myself this summer because I'm going to be in here. Depends. I, I might get it to a point where I can live in it, you know. I mean, now the bed frame is built. So I'm making this video <laughs> after... I've already recorded other things because I didn't do it before. So, yeah, the bed is built. Uh, and that's the main thing in a van, isn't it? You can't live in a van without somewhere to sleep. Get out, fly! But of course, it's only, like, powder and water and fridge and cooker and all the rest of it to do now. <laughs> It'll be right. So, I'm basically hoping that it, it's been a good decision. I think so. Like I say, having, having more space feels so much better. And I think this could be a really lovely home on wheels. So I'm looking forward to seeing the finished product in 28 years. I will just keep putting bits of video out of my progress. I mean, to be honest, progress is hindered because of my physical issues I, I don't do much and then I'm in oh, so much pain so that's a ball leg it fucking fucks me right off it does just have to work with what you've got anyway I'm going to leave that there because I've um, taught for too long give us a thumbs up that do that thumbs up give me a thumbs up it's hard to say and uh, if you've liked anything, and keep following for more updates. Yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.